You ready? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, let me look good. Oh, we don't <laughs> have that kind of time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready? Yeah. This time, yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going to do a top 10 video. It's gonna be PS3 this time. Since I won last time, you two assholes have to do rock, paper, scissors to decide who's going first. <laughs> I'll go last because I won last time and I'm awesome. But yeah, I'm but you can. not good at rock, paper, scissors. Uh, we know. On your mark, yeah. get, no, no, wait. Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> One, two. <laughs> okay. Go. One, oh. two, three. What are you doing? <laughs> you suck at this gym. I beat you. He did rock and you did. <laughs> what the hell? No. Dennis goes first. You I go first. first. No, try again because I don't Dude, know. No, try no. again. No. You are not good you, at this game. I didn't think you did there's it. I thought you were winning. There's too many choices for you. <laughs> well, hell, like, what am I supposed to do? Go like. <laughs> You lost. Two, no, three, you lost. Two, no, you lost. This I, game's too complicated for you. Okay. <laughs> oh my. Dennis, you get to no, go first. I'm no, getting. No. No. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. You did wrong, and I thought <laughs> yeah. you forgot to no. go. I didn't he, forget. You didn't forget. You forgot how it works. You forgot how to play. <laughs> so once again. Shut up. Jen lost. <laughs> and badly. <laughs> Alright, before we get before we name off the first game, this is how we do it. We have ten games between the three of us. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we take three games, our top three games each on the PS3, and then the last Copy game that. to make ten it has to be agreed on by all three of us, <laughs> which is not easy. First okay. game on the list. My pick is. Suspense. <laughs> <laughs> what it was? Dead. I want to make sure I grab the right one. Dead Island. And why is it your favorite or third favorite? Because she took all my other good picks. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Dead Island. I don't remember why I even picked up the game. I didn't know really what to get. And then I seen Dead Island. So I looked at it and I'm like, hmm, looks like zombies. So I want to kill some zombies. <laughs> yeah. And then I brought it home and I put it in, it loaded up. And then all of a sudden I noticed it was a first person. Anyways, I started to play it and I was kind of disappointed. And then I got into where you're starting to pick up different weapons and you're picking up different mod types, I guess. You can get to a, I want to say like a, a table and you can mod weapons together. Yeah. What was I your was, best weapon there? What was your favorite my weapon? My favorite made? weapon was I had a baseball bat and I combined it with a circular saw. <laughs> and I swear when the zombies would come running at me and I just swing my bat and just head comes off and just chopping off arms and legs it was nice. awesome living your best and life. it's all about weapons in that game and we I saw the price tag on it because we just picked loved it, up. it We literally had to go out and buy this because yeah. we didn't have it in our collection on the PS3. We had it on we had Xbox it on 360. 360. One of the best games ever made. Sorry Dennis. And they didn't have it. Play it, it's fine, you get to kill zombies. What could be better? Um Do I really have to tell you? Who's next? Are you next? No, Jen's a loser, so she gets oh to go. Oh my she god. Gets to go. Okay. Don't worry, Jen. When we hit PS2, you can go first automatically. Thanks. <laughs> we'll make you play that hard game. All right. <laughs> I played this game almost two years ago for uh, Gamer Education, and I was surprised how much I enjoyed it. Skyrim. That was actually Patrick's pick. That was Patrick's pick. I was so lost when I first started this because I had never played anything dual analog. This, this was really your first game this jumping was my into first it there. Game. Like, not really the first game you've ever played, but before that was like Donkey Kong Country and like yeah, Mario Brothers exactly. and stuff like that. But then, exactly. yeah, yeah. This was my first like real complicated game, and I was impressed how well I did. Now, I, I would love to go back and play this and see how my gameplay would change, my game style. I don't know, I'm, a, I'm more evolved as a gamer now. You think? Absolutely. <laughs> Do you remember when I had to fight that damn dragon and I got so... Yeah, Mike was told intense. you how to... But yeah, Mike It was scared. intense, but I don't think I, I would be... It would give me as much trouble now. No. Wow, well, as you game... Game... 
experience, you mm -hmm. get better. And, exactly. Yeah. Phenomenal game, though. Like, there's so much I haven't I done. I still haven't played Skyrim. Well, it's so good. Start now, and you might be able to finish this time next year. Cause it's, <laughs> it's a long game. <laughs> yeah. I get to go. Yeah. And I don't know if I'm going to take some shit for this pick there, but nobody talks about it. It's Dante's Inferno. Everybody says that this is a God of War clone, and when you play it, it takes all the best parts of God of War, the combat and all that, and what I think it might actually do better than God of War is the environments that you're in, because you're in hell. Oh, cool. Yeah. You're, uh, from what I can remember, because it's been a while since I played it, you're a crusader. I remember you and, talking to me about yeah, this Yeah, and, uh, you know, you're, you're in a war for God and the church yeah, and all yeah. this stuff. Oh, yeah. But when you die, you go to hell because you kill a lot of fucking people. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right? Now. So anyway, you go to hell because your wife is murdered and you have to go save her soul. And you have to go through, I don't know how many circles of hell is there. Would is you there, do like... that for me? Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but every every circle of hell you go to has got all these different environments. Dennis, you keep saying, I lent this to you to play. I was going to say, is this supposedly the yes. game that I yes. played? Yes! Come on! <laughs> Look at that fucking thing. I, Scott I tells me, you, like, you played ago. this game and I'm like, I don't remember playing. Well, you said you played it. Yeah, and like, you yes. just took it for a month there, brought it back. I might have not bad. I might have I, I might have taken it for a month and then got sidetracked and just said, "Yeah, it's pretty good, Scott. It's a good game." Anyway, and never <laughs> if, played it. If you like God of War, you're gonna like this. But the maturity level on this is probably more than God of War. Oh. You're in hell. <laughs> There's a, a lot, lot of boobies. A lot of boobies. Oh. Oh, but a lot, lot of. You didn't ever tell me there was a lot of boobies. Well, there's a lot of... There's this one part... I'm going to play Dante's Inferno There's this one real. boss that you're fighting, and it's a big a woman. Big boob? Yeah, boob <laughs> to boobs. Oh, and, no! Boobzilla! Yeah, and, the, and these evil baby-looking things keep popping out of her nipples, and then you have to keep killing them. There. That's, <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, it's messed up. The whole game is messed up. The environment's like... Ooh. Dude, it's messed You're in hell. My next pick... Let me look at it first is Tomb Raider. Excellent game. We've all played this game. We've, We've all played done through. a drunken rant We've about had this. a drunken rant about this game. We did a drunken rant on this game and we didn't do the game justice mm -mm. of how good it is. Like I, I, I like the gameplay and I like how it's very dark. Yeah. Like it's yeah. not, it's not like a feel good game. Like it, it's like if you like Uncharted, then this is like Uncharted yeah. without any yeah, of Yeah, yeah. Uncharted is a little bit humorous, and and this is more like mm. yeah. not that it's scary or anything like that. And this is one of those games where most of the time when you get a sequel, you're like, oh, the sequel's a little bit better because they knew how to. They fixed a few things. I think this one's actually better than the sequel. Oh, the uh, the two sequential. Ooh. Big words. Parts after this, I don't know. Uh, were not as good no. as the first one, no. but they were decent. They were decent. But this one is is by far yeah. of the trilogy. Now I haven't the played the favorite. last one, but I played the second one, and I had a little bit of difficulty getting into it right at first. I was like, oh. yeah, this one here, I thought right off the bat, yes. they they had me, they yeah, had me, they kept Jeez. me the entire time. So since we mentioned it. We're gonna go there. Uncharted 2. I uh, thought I had that. No, oh. I <laughs> I have it. You guys had to argue about. We who did. Was we kind of fought about this yeah. game. Like we said with Tomb Raider, where the sequels were like mm, not quite as good as the original. Number two actually is better than the first one. I just think they got everything a little bit tighter. It, the combat was better. The jumping was better. It just. It really built on the first one, and then the storyline was a little bit better. So, so there's a lot of comedy in that one too. Right? There is a lot oh, of comedy yeah, in it too. Sure. I felt the first one towards the end got a little bit disjointed. Do you know what I mean? When no. they shut up. Where they all of a sudden. <laughs> I love the first one. I do I too. I love the second one more. I do too. But towards the end, when they had like it was kind of like vampire or whatever. What? I'm like. What? Where did this all of a sudden come? Oh, okay, out? I know, you know what, what I, I mean? know what you mean. I, know I didn't know mean. where those enemies all of a sudden came out of, and I was like, yeah. this kind of got disjointed. Where this one was like fully, it made sense all the way through. 
Yeah, and I, I know think what they you really mean. got their act together in this one, and I love the first yeah. one, but this one was just it, it built upon that. Yeah, because you, I favorite. had suggested you played the Uncharted, yes. you played yeah. the first one, and you loved it so much that you oh, yeah. immediately really jumped into the second one. I did, I did, and I love the yeah. second one. But what I like about the Uncharted, like even this one here, is when you first put in the game, they throw you right they in. They do. There, there's no. Okay, we're gonna build up the story a little no. bit. You start off, and I, if, if I'm not mistaken, this one here, you start off, you're hanging. Oh yes, from a the train, train that's yes, hanging yes. over a cliff, and you have oh, to yeah. get up the train, and you're like, holy crap! Like, what's going on here? Oh, I know. The only one I wasn't a big fan of was Golden Abyss. It, I didn't hate it, but I was just like, that's the Vita one. Right? It was a little bit forgettable. Yeah. Where I was like, man, you could probably skip it. My pick. Your pick. <laughs> I'm surprised Dennis has hadn't played this one yet is Bayonetta. Bay here, I'm gonna describe it to Dennis and he'll, he'll this maybe will entice him to go into it. This, uh, she is a, a witch and she wields four guns, two of them are which are on her Heel. shoes or heels. So High she's, heel. yeah, so she basically, she's doing all these crazy kung fu moves and shooting at the same time. Her suit is made of her hair. So when you do these big attacks, her, it's her hair that has to come off her body to do the big monster attack. So it's it's nothing's shown, but they they they're like <laughs> yes, I, I know what you mean. I think I seen you play a little bit of it. Oh, I think you did. I think I did. I see very a little bit of a you know similar concept in all your games. What? Hot chicks with hair. <laughs> oh, that was a you know, Dante's Inferno. Was Dante's guy. Inferno. Was you said was your your favorite memory was the boob. Oh no, that's, lady. that was the most memorable. It wasn't that favorite memory though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bayonetta was awesome. The the it's fun. It's a fun story. It's basically yeah. stripper witch with guns. <laughs> Stripper uh, witch with guns. If good that's music, what you good call action. the game, if you would, if the game was not called Bayonetta and be called Stripper Witch with Stripper Guns, Stripper Witch with Guns, uh, it'd probably be my favorite because I'd have Great. played it <laughs> many times over. Hey. Stripper Witch. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this got a pink eye now. <laughs> Why do you assume I have shit hair? I didn't say that. You said pink eye. <laughs> that's how you get pink eye. Shit in your eye. Uh, is oh. it legit though? Yes. Yeah. That's how children get it. With shit? Shit flingers. Really? Yes. Yes! How do adults get it? Because their kids are like, Hey, Daddy, what I it? love you so much! Oh. And they fucking touch your face. You're going to fucking like... jab my eye out. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Pink eye, you know, <laughs> fucking, <sore> eye. <laughs> fucking black and blue eyes. My, my last pick, <clears throat> which is also my better pick, Arkham City. It's okay. You it's haven't okay. even played it. <laughs> I am either. I played Arkham Asylum, but I haven't played City. I can put this game in my PS3 console right now and be hooked. And Scott, you should play Arkham yeah, City. I know. Arkham Asylum, when I first played Arkham Asylum, I loved it. And then when I played Arkham City, I was like, oh, now this is a superhero <gasps> Harley game. Harley Quinn in this one. Harley Quinn I'm is sold. in it. The best part of <clears throat> this game is your Harley? It's, an, it's an it's Harley Quinn. <laughs> <laughs> it's Guys are so that it's open world concept. I mean, you're in Gotham City, mm -hmm. uh, but you're you're going around, you're gliding everywhere. But the the fun part about it is all the side missions that you can do. You'll be going around and you're listening to uh, the police frequency, mm -hmm. and then you'll hear that oh, there's been an attack or there's there's something happening at this spot. So you can go glide over and, and jump in that spot, and it'll be a new a villain. And then you like, yeah. And you can choose if you want now, to do what that villain quest is, or you can avoid it and just do the main mission. But my God, it's fun. You were telling me about all the Riddler trophies. Is this the one, or was it Arkham that you went and got all the Riddler trophies? Oh, any uh, any of the Arkham okay. series, to, I did on took, purpose to get took, all of the. You took Riddler the time trophies. to get all the Riddler trophies. Yes. Do you want to tell people what you got? What what was your reward for? Well, all this that one out? here, there's actually, if you get all of the Riddler trophies, you can actually go up against the Riddler. There is oh. a section that you actually go up against them in ah. the Arkham Asylum. 
you hear a little bit on your little frequency thing and it was yeah. like uh, that was lackluster but this one here you yeah, actually you get something. to confront the Riddler oh. so it makes it worthwhile okay, yeah. it's not a big drawn out <clears throat> fight or anything like that but, but at least there's like closure yeah. I've caught the Riddler Alice Madness Returns good lord I talk about this a lot but I do really really love it Daz hasn't played it and if you're new to the channel, Jen did a review oh, on this I hate video, when you and that she will every time. put a link to that video okay, right yes. here. <laughs> yes, but uh, if you love the lore of Alice, uh, you'll love this. I love the idea of a dark Alice, just like a more de demented, twisted world, and that this game gives that to mm. you. I just loved everything about it. There was nothing I didn't enjoy. It ended really well. The very last scene in this game really tied things up in a nice, neat little bow for me. It was such a phenomenal game. Every weapon was great. Every character was great. Every boss was great. I just, there was nothing I didn't like about this game. So that's why it made the top of my top 10. Yeah. We do have an overall top 10, but this was my favorite besides that. If you haven't played it yet, you definitely should. And I say that every time, but it's true. And the Cheshire Cat in it is the best. Like, you will love his character in this. Not knowing me, uh, would I enjoy the game? You would. It is really good. Oh, I've seen really game. Good. I've seen her play a little bit of it there. And it yeah. looks, I think I would even... Like, I, so I, I, I've seen the review. Uh, yeah. Like, it was phenomenal. It is such I've a good never, game. I never did play the game. Yeah, you you can't go wrong with that game. It's, it's excellent. It's such a good game. All right. My last game is God of War 3. It is the first God of War I played in the series, and it's my favorite God of War. If you uh, haven't seen see the video, why. you'll know why. And that's why no. I said all of his games have a similar, like... Epic boss battles. Epic boob battles. Ooh, epic boobies. There was just a couple boobies. Uh, well, yeah, I, that was a side yeah. mission. Okay, but so, <laughs> kind of. you loved it so much, you did it twice. You never That's side quest? <laughs> has, there is no word. There is no explanation. He has no out on this. He doesn't do side quests and he did that side quest. Jen. 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 Boobs. We did a drunken rant video on this game, God of War 3, which again does not do it justice because we focused on one topic. Boobs. Boobs. <laughs> and other things that really... It's a really it's not a big part of that game. For me, you know, it's, I like it those I like those hack and slash beat em ups. Uh, but this one here was those over the top huge boobs. Boss <laughs> the boobs. The boss battles, battles were <laughs> phenomenal. Like when you're fighting yeah. uh, I think what the You get to fight against Hercules. Oh they're awesome. You yeah. get to fight against the Achilles. Yeah. Um, oh my and God! You get to they kill them. Epic fights, and you're oh, just wow. obliterating yeah. them, and it's yeah. it's so rewarding. This is the first time hearing of this. Oops. Yeah. It, it it's really a fun game, the God of War three. I remember when I when I played through. I'm gonna play it. I'm not gonna I do was the side quest. Really quest. impressed. You're missing out. So I, if you're a regular viewer of this channel i think you guys can probably guess what well, is I mean, the number one pick well i mean if you've played any ps3 games ever then you know it is the last of us so yes we're not going to go into overly discussing this because we don't have to no we're, and it'll end up being a 45 minute video exactly. well it's just because it is the greatest game ever made that's a, that's our opinion this is our top 10 favorite list right yeah on it, the ps3 yeah. yeah so yeah this this game is the game that kind of like got me into the PS3 because you convinced me. And got I you had back into to, gaming. It's one of those, yeah, it's one of those games that really got me back into gaming. You convinced me I had to have a PS3 to oh, yeah. play this. Well, because after I played, I was so blown away and then hearing that, oh, you play games and like, yeah. have you played The Last of Us? See, I was a No, I've guy. never heard of it. And yeah. I said, my God. Scott, you need to get a PS3 I didn't wanna... and play The Last of Us. Every you time he would say, we need, to put, we need to put the game away for the night, I'd be like, like, why do we have to? No one said we had to. We're adults. We make our own decisions. <laughs> okay, and we also need to work. <laughs> and we need to work. Yes. But, like, I think 
when this game came out, it did something that no game before it had ever done. Oh, it just it, there's a bunch it, of it things that it, it pushed changer. boundaries. And yeah, and I don't think this not is a only in the story. Yeah, but I I I thought the gameplay, the mechanics, the fighting of it, there was like on oh point. Oh my god, like, really oh, good, yeah. really really good. Yeah. I don't think I can pick out anything that I disliked about it, and the fact that they're remaking it is bullshit. Dude. I just, I worry that people are going to pick that apart, and it's going to be the downfall of The Last of Us. I don't think it needs to be remade. I, here's the way but I But how do you it. remake it? I don't know. Here's, here's how I look at it, because I look at games as the, it's art. Yeah. In, in the music and the art style and the the, you know, the, the combat, like mm -hmm. everything's an art, everything. There's mo tons and tons of people are involved in this. And you know yourself, after you're done a project, you always wish you had done certain things. Yeah. It was, there's, it's never perfect and I'm But somebody hoping, else might not see that. Exactly, but I'm hoping what they do add to it will actually make it better mm. but we might not notice it, it only may not the be creators will yeah. yeah it may not be noticeable oh. anyway we can't talk about this all night there no we appreciate you no. guys lasting this whole drunken rant slash <laughs> 10 favorite games yeah, of ours on the ps3 we plan on doing a top 10 favorite ps2 and ps1 and we're actually going to do an nes version here yeah. right after this if these two fools can stay sober enough Nope. We'll see. No promises. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Until next time. Game, game on. on. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm.